by the way, for those of you who are still trying to figure out which of the current events I listed in my video two weeks ago is false, um, a very late April Fool's Day to you. Today's video will hopefully, if I get it uploaded in time, be coming to you on the last day of the old format of YouTube. Supposedly, tomorrow is the day when the format will change. The day when YouTube will switch from favoring the community-based content like this to favoring the professionally made content like movies and TV shows and that sort of thing. I'm going to link to three other videos that talk about this switch. The first is the video that I responded to two weeks ago, Everyday Uncommons video. The second is a video that you've probably all seen and a video that this will be a response to, John Green's video about it. And the third is a video from YouTube user Mikola, who if you are not subscribed to, you definitely should be. I'll also link to his channel in the sidebar. And he speaks about it very, very eloquently, probably far more eloquently than I will in this video. So what I thought I would do for this current event video, since I already talked about it a little bit two weeks ago, I thought I would just take everybody through kind of the pros and the cons and what I think about this whole switch. The cons are obvious because everybody's been saying them. YouTube's supposed to cater to the community, to the amateurs, to broadcast yourself, all that sort of thing. It's not supposed to cater to the professionally made content. This is going to make it so much like Hulu. Why do we need another Hulu? We've already got Hulu. And just in general, people who are against sites like YouTube becoming huge money-making conglomerates. And to a degree, I'm upset about that too. I don't like that YouTube is changing its format to cater to professionally made content. But on the other hand, first of all, I almost think it's inevitable. A lot of things that start out in the way that YouTube did inevitably don't last that way. The fact of the matter is YouTube has to make money and it takes money to run. But also, I don't think that the spirit of YouTube exists in the format of the website. They're not getting rid of the user-generated content. That saying is just having its own separate tab. And the spirit of YouTube really does lie in that community of vloggers. And the worst thing that could happen to YouTube right now is if all of that community, everyone in that community, got into a big huff and stopped making videos. Because that is what would spell the end of YouTube more than anything. So I'm going to continue making videos on YouTube, and I hope that all of the vloggers in the YouTube community will also continue to keep making videos on YouTube, even if the format of the site changes. However, just to be safe, I think I'm going to start posting my videos on the Nerdfighter site, as well as on YouTube, because you just never know. So that's it for me for today, and I will see you in the new format. Bye-bye.